just wanted to show that off. Because, well, I'm just that big of a stupid idiot. And again, just like with the previous episode, and just showing stuff off like that uh, Tower of Power, whatever that was. Just wanted to be silent, just because cause I'm an idiot. But anyways, I'm gonna go grab that one sock I left over there. Because... reasons. Yeah, let's see if I get some uh, shiny objects while I'm doing it. Alright, and we're set. Now we can go back over here. And, uh... Yeah, I guess it put me here, so... Might as well go get that one button I missed. Hmm. Oh wait! Oh, here we go. Alright, we good, we good. It's a bit tight on the platforming, but it's all good, you can make it. What's this button do? Are you serious? That's what the button does? I could have just done that earlier to make my life easy. Guys, dang it! Uh, all right, all right. Sorry for the loud noise. Okay, I deserve that to be fair. And. All right, now, let me just, uh, there we go. Now we can continue on with the level. I think I need SpongeBob for that one, so, I don't think there's a sock over there. No, it's just shiny objects, okay. There's no need. Oh, you better not snipe me. This guy is living up to his new name. Kelp Caves. Just wanted to wait for the shiny objects to come over. Hey kid, I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals and power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what's it do, what's it do, what's it do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. Uh, I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well then, you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. All right, we have our little objective, and this is the thing we gotta do. Open up all of the... That's right, I keep forgetting. When you're using the cruise bubble, when you push up, it goes down, and down is up for the cruise bubble. Here, I'll show you what this um, thing. Yeah, it just destroys the already existing stone tiki and just replaces it with a new one. And now we gotta go back to go get Spongebob. Yeah, the kelp caves is very, very back and forth. Like, Hello there, Barnacle Boy! Uh, <laughs> uh, hi. Um, I need, uh, Spongebob's help if you see him. Okie dokie! 
Yeah, I gotta do so much backtracking with swapping from SpongeBob to Patrick for certain things. It's gonna, it's gonna be annoying, but I guess we gotta do what we gotta do to drag out the the plate side of this thing. Down, down. Okay. Hey, but though at least left is left and right is right. There are four crystals left. Now this level is very quiet. Uh Okay, great. Oh wait, no 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Okay, this one I'm gonna need uh, Patrick for to get that one crystal. Wait, I think I do. Do I? Hmm. Don't quite remember how you get that one up there. Oh, just short. Mm. Oh, gosh dang it! I'm 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 dumb. <laughs> Wish there was like a way to like either run faster or just kind of have another teleport box there. Like have. Four tele teleport boxes, like one next to the, like there's the one next to the uh, entrance, and I'm pretty sure there's one next to the exit of this place. So why can't they just have it where there's like four? Oh wait, I know why. It makes this level easier. Hold on, I need to check this. Do I need Patrick over here for any reason? Yes, I do. And there's a monsoon here. At least it's easier to get rid of the uh, laser bots. Where's a stone TV? Uh. Is it up here? Hey, my back feels better. Well, I found the sock and the teleport box, at least. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. At least I think I do. Yeah, I can just replace this. Because I don't need that anymore. Uh. Yeah, once you stack one stone tiki on top of another, you can't pick that one up. It's kind of dumb. Well, at least getting over here is easy enough. Oh, who am I kidding? There's a monsoon here and there's two lightnings! There we go. At least I got that one. And I can just pick up that other one that I got and then just bring it up there. I'm pretty sure the lightning will destroy the stone tiki's. So you gotta be a little careful. Oh, just th that it does that does that. Okay, cool. But I don't need that for at the moment. Need that for the stone tiki. And now you can just forget what I was saying about the teleport box because there's one right there and the other one's just right up here for the sake of the conveniency like I was wanting. I 
I, I hope I don't need Patrick for this one. Okay, good. This one I don't need them for. And there's no fall damage in this game, so that's good. Alright, that takes care of that, of that one. Now we need to get up there. Oh, there's the other one. But first, let's take care of the uh, stone thing here. And there's the final camper. Cool. Um. Oh, actually, can I just use the stone tiki for this? Because what you're supposed to do is have Patrick get the throw fruit slash watermelon and then bring it up all the way up there to where that uh, top little topsy-turvy thing is. But if I could do it with the stone tiki... Man, will this be a lot easier? In fact, I don't need you. I can just bring you with me. Ouch. Oh. Hey, what just happened? Oh no, I just kind of just got game ended. That's all. Ouch. Nope. I just kind of threw that in panic. But I guess it was a good thing I did that, because otherwise, well, that wouldn't would have happened. No. Run. Run, Patrick! Run! Oh, they're going all the way up. Oh, jeez, jeez, go, go, okay, good. Oh. I did need to bring this up here, but I need to throw fruit. Or do I? Yep, yeah, I do. Yeah, yep, yeah, I do. And I need that one for the... Okay, run. 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 Wait, you know what? Nah. I know what I'm doing. I'm not, I, I know there's a little, little long walk. But I don't care. It'll make my life a lot easier. Run. 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 Run, Patrick. Make it to the... To the thingy. Go. Go. Okay, good. Okay, good. Alright, we, we good. We good. We good. Now I just gotta bring Spongebob over there for the thing. Um, I don't know if I'm, if I said this or not, but I'm not a fan of this part of the level. It's quite a tedious one. Although, I'm actually remembering what's up coming up next. And oh, I'm not gonna like it. Let's get our final crystal. There's our thing for the final button. I saw a bit of the skybox for a sec. 
This is easy enough. Bam. I think we these stay unlocked. There's some dead pixels up there. All right, now we gotta do the uh, lost campers. SpongeBob, there you are. Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned. No problem, Mrs. Puff. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You've definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff, I'll cherish it always. That was weird. Like, the little cutscene there was playing normally at first, but then it just kind of... You're still here, Mrs. Puff? Oh, SpongeBob, I just feel like I'm all over the place these days. Well, have fun. See you at class. Yeah, that was, that was weird. Like, the cutscene was working fine with the camera, but then it just kind of changed. Barnacle Boy, I think I found all your crystals. Now I can see your secret superpower. All right, stand back. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> there. What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Uh -huh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well, then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and goodbye. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Since, you know, the original voice actors for them are, have passed away. I wonder if they're going to use the same voice clips in this game? Or if they... Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to use the same voice clips here. But anyways, on to the kelp. Vines. Oh boy. Hi, Mermaid Man. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all-time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it. What a hoot. And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold spatulas. Well, I sure. am a bit busy with all these robots, but sure, why not? It does look like fun. Try not to fall off. Oh, boy. Yep. It's another one of these where we have to get to the bottom of this thing in under a minute and 40 seconds. And you can already see the problem. Still haven't beaten my record yet. Perseverance is the key. But you're the greatest superhero that ever lived. How could I, a simple sponge, topple your record? Keep trying, youngster! Keep trying! When you jump, sometimes you can turn tight, like right here, but other times you only turn a little bit. Which sucks for sliding uh, well, missions like the this one. And in the ski slopes. But in the ski slopes, this wasn't a problem with the turning. So you have to like find certain like points in which you have to kind of cut through like right here to save on time. However, we're going to see in a few se seconds.
there's a checkpoint. And, well, that means that once we die, we go back there. And the timer won't start until we get down to the bottom of this thing. Oh, that, that was a mistake. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I, how? How did that, how did that work? How did that work? What? No, no, okay, okay. Oh, what? How? How on earth? How? That, I always have a hard time with this one. Some time you've gotten. I guess you could say I had that course licked. I guess I owe you a reward. Take this golden spatula. Thanks, Mermaid Man. Oh my goodness, how? I completely goofed up. And that s somehow worked in my favor. Any luck beating my time yet, Mermaid Man? Huh? What? What are you talking about? Yeah, young people these days always talking rock and roll gibberish. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm missing two socks. And I'm, I'm, I think there's a sock in this slide. But before I check that, I think past this part is a sock. Cause this is another like, like exit to the beginning part, entrance to the thing. No? Oh, it's just, hmm. Huh. Where's the other sock? I'm pretty sure there's a sock on the slide. Oh well, I'll just uh, look up where that other sock is and just go on the slide again, but cut to the point where I get the sock. I'll see you guys uh, at that point and to the other point of where the sock is. All right, you gotta jump on this leaf and then you gotta turn and jump on this leaf. And then jump here. Bada bing, bada boo. We got our sixth sock. And now for this sock, I just... I'm not even gonna say anything. Just need to... Remember when I did this earlier? And I missed a few? I was supposed to get them all in a row. For me to get the sock. Also, what is happening to this kelp here? Why is there like black, a black box around them all? But anyways, kelp forest 100% complete. And now we go back to here. And in the next episode, we... In the next episode, We'll be going into the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. See you all then. Dang, there's no goo around. How am I supposed to end this off now? Oh wait, I know how to end off this episode without just going out of bounds. Getting some golden spatulas from Patrick. Alright, there we go, now we have 75. Oh, that's kind of lame, though. But wait. I know how to end up the episode for real. For real. We'll go over there and take a little gander on what's inside the chum bucket. So that way, we have an idea on how many golden spatulas we need to just, you know, go to get, beat the final boss. Let's go! I don't remember the doors being with well, wood. Huh. We needed 75. And I have 75. I can just fight the boss right now? Hold on, let's go. Flash! 
Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And stomp on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash! They serve food here, yes, but they don't serve love. Hmm. Anyways, before I continue on, I need a save. Right before I forget and just accidentally, like, you know, open that door or something. Ooh, well, it's a good thing I've been doing this because I see me a golden spatula. And it's one that we need. That's the final one in Bikini Bottom. Alright. Alright, let's see it. Okay. Alright, I saved the game. It's the... jeez. What? Why isn't it working? Why is it not working well? Come on! Come on! Come on. I'm, almost, I'm almost there! Come on, dude! Wait, can I just... Okay, um... So... I just kept on just slamming the thing left and right while pushing the A button that time. The other times I was just doing the same thing, but without pushing the A button. Hmm. Very weird, I never really have a problem with that one. Anyways... Now we can end up the episode.